Hello, YouTubers out there. This is Donna with Donna's Creative Dabbles. I'm back to do another painting and I'm so excited. It's been a while since I've gotten to paint oh, with the COVID thing that everybody else is going through. I've been making masks and then yard work. I have a huge fairy garden that I have been playing in. But today is the day to play with paint. So I painted on this tin here several weeks ago and the paint was too thin and you can still see the design underneath on it. So today I'm gonna play and I'm just gonna do a pour on that. I mixed up these paints. Uh, this is the uh, Deco Art uh, Gold Metallic, the Deco Art this is the uh, saf yeah, sapphire blue. Um, if I can, deep sapphire. Also a metallic there. And then this one is the Deco Art, and it's the berry. So those are the colors that I'm using. And I had just gotten them mixed up in my grandkids' FaceTime. So, of course, I stopped this, so I'm gonna check and see. Hopefully these haven't gotten too thick and on me. But you know, when the grandkids call to FaceTime, you stop everything in FaceTime, especially now. I haven't got to see them since December, so it was great to talk to them. So I'm gonna start with the gold, and I'm just gonna pour them in this cup. It's gold, and then Hmm, I think I'll do the blue. I love this sapphire blue. It's just a gorgeous, I mean, look at that. It's just so shimmery. And then to the berry. And back to the gold. And the sapphire and the berry. And one more. Do I hope that'll be enough paint? There's a lot of gold left there, so maybe I'll make another round of each of them, but I don't know. I don't have yep. I think I've got enough to do another round. I love doing the pouring on the vases. It's it's just so cool to see what develops on them. I had um, these paints that I used before. I had already had mixed up, and they were they had the polycrylic in them, and they were just a little bit thinner than what I realized. So this was just an old Christmas tin that I had around that. I thought, well, that might be a handy little storage tin to have, so I need to paint it. And my husband says, nothing around here is safe. If it sits still very long, that she's gonna paint it. And he's kind of right. <laughs> I'm always looking for something to paint. Okay, so move that one over there. And I do think I'm going to just make an X through there, just to mix them up a little bit. And now for the fun, it pouring it on, and I'm just gonna This, it takes quite a bit because it's got a little bit of a lip there on it, so. While that runs down, I'm gonna just check and see if my camera has moved on me. Oh no, you can see. Very good, I just wanted to check. One day I was taping and I hadn't noticed a slow movement of my camera, but it looks good. Okay. I may have 
have to mix up some more paint to get this. It's and then do glue. I'm going to push some of that off from the bottom down the sides. because it doesn't need to be real thick on the bottom. And that's a lot of paint. So, I've been painting this week. I got a little, um, I, in my fairy garden, I have a campground and uh, I had a couple, had a friend brought me over a couple of uh, campers for my fairy garden and two of them are the same color. So of course I had to paint one. So that's a little bit more detailed painting than just poor painting. So it's good to get back to this and get some of this up here on it. That. Ooh, those are, colors are really looking good. I love those deco art, silver and the gold. They are gorgeous. So this should, I think it'll cover this time. I don't have any polycrylic in this. I did a vase with that, those same colors though. And uh, it's gonna actually end up being a candle holder because it was just perfect with the thinner paint. It covered really nice on the glass. And uh, I think it's gonna be gorgeous with a, can a candle in it. So kind of excited about that. Okay. As long as it's got something wet to run over it will other than that if it doesn't it just goes around it the path of least resistance is the one it takes get a little bit more of that off of the top there or the bottom <laughs> it's the top right now but it's actually the bottom and see if I've got enough on it. Check the covering on it. Still a few places there, but I've got a lot of paint down here. Sometimes when I need some more, I will just pick this up and use it to fill in the areas where it's not wanting to run down. there and you can put a wet coat of paint underneath if you want to and that way then it, you don't worry about it uh, running down it as much I'm gonna turn this around a little bit here Some of this put up there to run down those areas that aren't covered yet. Okay, so. thinking that's pretty good and send some of this off of the top here okay I think that's gonna be really really pretty I hope those colors are showing up it's really shimmery and uh, then I'm gonna take what's left in here and I think I got everything out of here, but get all 
that I can add. I can always mix up more paint if I need to, but I wanna make sure I'm using all of this that I can get out of here to do the top. And I've got it all taped off, so there's not a whole lot of it that is um, getting painted. It's basically just the top little rim because um, the border of it was gold and I thought, well, I'll just leave it gold. So it's just this little top part here that's actually getting painted. So if I get that done and see if that needs any more, and I'll just go around on it. Might tip it just a little bit. The colors and everything were really pretty on this. I really liked them, but I did not like that it wasn't thick enough to that you could see the old pattern. And the old pattern was Christmas pattern. I think this came with chocolates in it or something uh, for Christmas, so I didn't want to use it for Christmas. And, okay, maybe have to pour a little bit more. Ooh, I don't know if you can see down in that cup, but that is beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. I noticed on some YouTube channel the other day that a person had taken their cups and had cut them after the paint dried in their cups and uh, cut them apart to use for cards or whatever. So I'm just going to pour out the rest of that on the top here of this since that's got covered. And we'll see how that, if it's needing any more, because that's a lot, well, there's a lot of different colors in there. Let me push some over here on this side. Drip down there. Maybe a little bit of it. Hmm. Over here. It's nice to be ambidextrous once in a while. And especially working with, when you're playing with paint. Oh, all right. What do you think? I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. Um, we'll see. It's pretty thick, but it's still dripping down through there, and it will continue to drip. I'm going to, I'll bring you guys down and show you what it looks like down here on the sides of it. Uh, and I do think, no, I'm not even going to mess with torching it or anything. Okay, close your eyes because everything's going to jiggle. Okay. Oh, wow. It's still dripping down, but that is so pretty. Oh, my goodness. Look at those colors. That gold. I really like those colors together. Hmm. Sorry about the light. Get over here. And close-up of that. Oh, that's going to be so shimmery when it dries. And there's going to be the lid. It's going to have a lot more gold in it than what the dill does, but that's okay. So, my next project that I'm going to do is that vase there. I'm trying to decide what colors to do it in, so keep watching. There'll be a video out on that soon. Speaking of videos, if you would please hit the 
subscribe button if you haven't already and the thumbs up. Uh, I would really appreciate it. I'm just growing my channel and I really appreciate every little bit of help that I get. So thank you and have some fun playing with paint and I'll see you on my next video. Oops, I was gonna do a video of doing these tiles out of the paint that I had left over. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, once that gets the uh, shine put on it with the resin. And there's that one. Sorry, the lights kind of interfering there. Oh, and look at that one. Oh my goodness. Can't wait to see these resined. I was gonna show you picking that up and putting on them in. I didn't, and I was gonna show you that I added a little bit of gold to this because I was looking at it and it had really was more blue with very little gold in it. And I'll show you these again when they're present and finished. But that had a lot more gold in it than this did. So I added some gold and you can do that. Just I just poured it over the top. It was still wet and still dripping. So now they match more and I've got four coasters to go with them. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that. Sorry, I didn't get the video of that, but I just picked that paint up and poured it on there. Okay, see you next time. Please subscribe and thumbs up. I really appreciate you guys. Bye.